there was a tendency or there's a need to implement solutions such as ours at the plant level. So each plant would have a separate implementation. This is partly also driven by the limitations of production produced scheduling software of that era, which means the basic challenge in planning and scheduling software is that the devil is in the details. So there's a belief that you had to customize the solutions. You go to a plant, find out exactly what they're doing, and then you come up with a custom solution. It would meet that plant's objective, but then you go to the next plant and then you'd have to redo a lot of the customizing, right? What we've done is to eliminate the need for such customizing. We have a very capable software that out of the box can meet all such variations. Essentially, it's the same code. We don't have to do anything different plant by plant. We can configure to meet the requirements of each plant individually without the development of any custom software. That opens up the door to have this kind of central software. Historically, I noticed that you had these custom solutions and that almost encouraged plants to do their own things. Each plant and the belief was that, hey, we are different from the other guys. We need to do this. Over time, these kind of processes, which are themselves based on tools like such as ours, started diverging. But having a central solution flips the script. It's an opportunity to these companies to get away from that mindset that each plant has to do its own thing and come up with a common standard business process that is supported by a software like ours and hosted centrally. Previously, when you had this distributed or each plant doing its own thing, you had these balkanized sets of capabilities where each plant didn't know what other plant was doing. But having a standard process allows them to not only understand what each plant is doing, but actually collaborate on best practices. The other point, of course, is in terms of a collaborative environment, if someone is sick, cannot come into one plant. Someone at the other plant can, can pitch in and take over for that week. So having a centralized implementation fosters that kind of collaboration. I'm comparing two extremes, right? On one extreme, you have implemented or, or hosted at each plant individually. And at the other extreme, we're talking about, let's say, a modern cloud-based solution, which is centralized and that's accessible to plants across the entire region or maybe across even the whole world. The first key benefit is what you call sharing of resources. You're talking about infrastructure. If I had to provide the same degree of performance, let's say to eight plants, and if I compare locating the infrastructure at each plant individually versus on the cloud, the huge saving in terms of the number of servers I need, in terms of my network, in terms of the storage, just because you're pooling your resources. And because of that, you can of course also have better security, for example, as opposed to trying to replicate a security infrastructure in different places, you could have it in this one central, so you can have the best practices, the best security possible. If you think in terms of having one central implementation, it's obviously easier to support. If you have one user having a problem with their whatever, they're not able to do something. Uh, our support, it's a standard model. It's very easy for them to look into it and, and figure out what the issue is. It's very easy to maintain. If there's a bug, for example, and it's like a cloud-based thing, we would fix it right away. Then there's always an upgrade. We're constantly improving our software. It's just like uh, our customers believe in Kaizen or continuous improvement, and they're constantly improving their product. So at the very least we can do is to constantly improve our software in the same way that they do.